Hi everyone, my name is Cabello Cablo Maka and I am the host of the Cablo Studios Business of Animation podcast and this is a little prologue, it's not actually the first episode, I feel like I uh, need to kind of ease my way into that and give you a little bit of an introduction about what this podcast is what who I am as as a as the host of the podcast and what we hope to achieve so without further ado let's get into it hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of the cat <laughs> Cablo Studios presents the business of animation. Is that the permanent name? I don't know for now. Let's get into it. <laughs> so it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is a podcast about the business side of making an animation and I am your host. My name is Cabello Maka but I go by Cablo on the internet and my animation students call me Miss K. So I guess I should give you a little bit of a background about me. I um, I work as the creative director of a an award-winning studio called Cablo Studios. That's right, Flix. <laughs> Um, I founded a company called Cablo Studios in 2017. Uh, Cablo is a play on the the name Cabello. It was a nickname that I had in high school, and I kind of brought it over and created the name of my business from my nickname. Cablo Studios creates original short films and animated series. We create medical animation, which is one of our unique Uh, niche markets and we also create illustrated uh, projects yeah so uh, we recently won an award for our medical animation business at the Gauteng Accelerator program it's a a business uh, incubator there we go it's a business incubator we also recently released our first short film called three teaspoons of sugar it's a story about diabetes and how it affects the family and it's an animated medical documentary based off of people in my own family who have had a diabetes um, we're gonna actually do a tour of three teaspoons of sugar throughout this year and we are going to do festival circuits so pray for us uh, exciting times ahead what else does Cablo Studios do oh we're launching an online store so hopefully by the time I post this on the internet the online store is is uh, public and um, I mean I've done kind of a soft launch by advertising it through email when we talk to clients but I mean I would have already done an official launch on our Instagram page and elsewhere on the internet by the time this comes out so oh other stuff that I do um, so I'm not just a creative uh, director of Cablo Studios. I am actually a 2D character animator and I am an animation director. But I also teach animation at various levels. So I teach uh, at university level, um, high school. I run high school film clubs and, and uh, animation clubs. And then, of course, I do private tutoring. So both for primary level kids um, so from 10 years old and high school uh, students who are interested in animation. I just, I really love animation. And I suppose at some point I probably will talk about how I got into it, why I care about it so much and why this art form is something that I am pursuing. Um, but for the purpose of this podcast, I wanted to create a podcast that talks about um, something that they don't really talk about in university so I decided I wanted to create a business of animation podcast because I think it's a topic that doesn't really get covered especially if you go to some kind of film school or art school I went to a film school and um for all of the good of the good they, that they do in teaching students about how to actually make films, there's not much, or at least when I was there, and that wasn't so long ago, I graduated in 2016. When I was there, there isn't much of a conversation about how to actually monetize the skill of creating this art form. I hate 
the stereotype that artists have to be poor. And I don't hate a lot of things. If you know me personally, and hopefully we'll meet one day, I don't hate things because it's a waste of energy. I like to be a bright, cheerful, optimistic, happy person. But that's one thing that I hate. Why should an artist have to struggle financially when our equipment is so expensive, when art is something that humans appreciate all around the world? It gives our life and our lives substance. It gives our lives fullness and joy. Why should it be something that artists struggle for? And I realized the reason why we as artists have been put under the stereotype that we need to be starving to be great is because there's been a lack of knowledge a lack of skill and a lack of people speaking up and teaching um, from that perspective of of finding ways to make our creative skills um, financially beneficial. So that's why I wanted to start a podcast about the business side of animation. I'm not yet an expert, I don't think, but I don't think that disqualifies me from starting the conversation because somebody has got to start it and instead of sitting at home being bothered or having so many thoughts and ideas about doing something like this i think it's better that i actually step forward in faith and start the conversation and see where it goes i'm hoping that with this podcast I will be able to share some of the things that I am learning as someone who owns a startup and has visions for some greater goals and and dreams. I am hoping as well to be a valuable resource for people who are maybe studying animation, people who are like me who have started, who have decided to start animation businesses maybe students who are in high school who need a way to convince their parents that choosing a creative career path can be beneficial it's not going to destroy their lives i'm hoping that we'll have fun as we create this you know what if it tanks it tanks but if it's successful then it's successful and i won't know unless i try so hopefully i see you guys on the long run So thank you for listening to this podcast. I'm sure as time goes by, I'll figure out a way to say goodbye and be one of those people who's got like a cute ending. But for now, I'll just say goodbye and enjoy the ending music.